Skyrim is a great game and one that streamlined a lot of stuff from the previous games. Being they did this, some skills were removed and let me just say a lot of these choices made sense at the time, but Skyrim came out way back in 2011, it's been a long time, and people's expectations of RPGs have changed. So let's have a look at some of the skills and abilities that have been taken out of the game for one reason or another and were cool to see come back. Before we get going, yes, pretty much everything we mention here has been modded back into Skyrim at some point, which is awesome but we want to focus on what could be in Elder Scrolls 6. We'll keep our fingers crossed and start off at number 10 with Acrobatics. This was a skill introduced in Morrowind and Oblivion and affected how far you could jump, how far you could fall without taking damage, and how steep of an incline you could go without slipping. In Morrowind, it's one of the skills that you pretty much had to grind. you just hop along the ground and it'd level up as you went. Depending on who you ask, this is a skill that was more trouble than it was worth and just added a tedious step to deal with before you're able to move around the world as free as you want. But I think this is a skill that would be cool to bring back for Elder Scrolls 6. Not because I want everybody to start with weak little jumps again, but because I think there could be some pretty cool abilities on a potential skill tree for this thing. Like, imagine if you could climb walls like in Breath of the Wild, having an acrobatic skill would make a ton of sense to tie in with that. Maybe at higher levels, you could unlock new movement abilities like being able to double jump or unlock a grappling hook or something like that. Maybe it could let you do wall jumps and maybe even wall runs. Like, this is kind of pie-in-the-sky stuff. It'd be pretty crazy if they included a bunch of movement powers in the game, but it does sound pretty cool, does it not? At number 9 is Medium Armor. Like, this one's pretty self-explanatory. The Medium Armor class was removed in Skyrim in favor of just having two classes, Light and Heavy. Main reason I'd like to see this again is just for a little bit more diversity in equipment and a little more possibility for varied builds. A lot of the Medium Armor in the old games just looked really cool, and it was fun to see the kinds of perks that developers could come up with for a player that's going for a Medium Armor playstyle. In a way, Medium Armor has already come back. They brought it back for Elder Scrolls Online, so Bringing it back again isn't something I'd be against. It would be cool to see armor classes with a little more depth like from Dark Souls where heavy armor would give you more movement penalties and make you slower in combat. Maybe heavy armor affects your overall weight in some way. Like don't make it as complicated as Dark Souls or anything like that, but maybe some flat buffs or debuffs depending on the armor class. If they kept the skill tree from Skyrim, they could make it so certain points could remove armor penalties and at least make it less severe. Like there's a lot of interesting things they could do with armor for the next Elder Scrolls game, and I'm excited to see what they actually do end up doing. At number 8 is Spears. Another obvious one, I'm not sure the exact reason Bethesda removed Spears or similar weapons from Skyrim, but I hope the next Elder Scrolls game brings them back, both as a usable weapon and possibly even as a skill. There's actually a precedent for these weapons already, too. They show up in Fallout 76, and even though the game is using a more primitive engine than what will be used in Elder Scrolls 6, it at least shows they're not like against the very concept of Spears. With a more fleshed out combat system, Spears have the potential to really change the way you play the game. Going kind of off track here, but just talking about weapons in Elder Scrolls, it would also be awesome if you could choose to use weapons one or two-handed depending on your strength. So you could use a spear or a shield equipped, for example, but you'd get like a different and more powerful move set if you use the spear two-handed. The main reason I'd like to see spears included is it just adds some variety of things, and more weapon options in a game is usually a good thing. And number 7 is the Armorer, which is a skill that first appeared in Morrowind and governed how well you could repair your equipment. And that's pretty much all it did. Bethesda removed it entirely for Skyrim and got rid of durability for your equipment. With the popularity of games like, again, Dark Souls, which all have some form of durability for armor and weapons, it would be cool to see this skill come back. At the very least, I think it's something that people are generally used to at this point. Hell, durability continues to have play a big part in Fallout, and repairing your stuff is still a big part of those games. In practice, with Oblivion and Morrowind at least, it was actually kind of annoying to use because it took forever to level up, so you could only repair your body armor a little bit at a time. If they made it so that the armor skill had other uses, like being able to modify armor, almost like the whole mod system from Fallout 4, that would probably be great. I'd rather not see the basic function it used to have return, at least not in the exact same form, but if you could do things like temper armor or make it stronger and add modifications or add buffs, that's something I could get behind. Or you could just make it so you can customize your armor somehow. Maybe change the colors, add decals, make the character your own. 
And number six is Hand to Hand. Introduced in Morrowind, this is another one that is exactly what it sounds like. It affects how strong you are in combat when you don't have any weapons equipped. For being such a loot heavy game, it made sense to remove the skill. I mean, it's all about not using all the looted weapons you find. Still, I think Bethesda could probably find a place for it in the next game. I mean, a monk is one of those classic D&D classes, so not being able to play as one in an RPG like Skyrim doesn't feel completely right, at least for some people. I think an easy fix would just be to make it so that you can get weapons like brass knuckles or magic gloves or stuff like that if you want to focus on hand to hand. They can introduce new abilities like being able to disarm enemies or grapple with them and throw them around. On top of that, adding some cool monk style moves would give an interesting playstyle flavor that you could add. Like, what if you could do stuff like a one inch punch that sends enemies flying or like a palm strike that can stun enemies? I'm not asking for like Fist of the North Star level techniques here, but it'd be fun to have an alternate playstyle if the developers decided to lean into it a bit. And number five is unarmored skill. Um, to go along with hand in hand, the unarmored skill from Morrowind would be another good one to bring back. It wouldn't be as flashy as that skill, but it would be nice for mages and monks to get some kind of bonus for not wearing armor at all. I think this would be fun to have for when your character wants to dress up as like a commoner or a nobleman or however you want it. These games are filled with costumes and clothing you can wear that don't help you in combat at all. So it'd be nice if you got some kind of bonus for equipping this stuff so that you don't have to change your armor to something more useful when you get into combat. It's a minor thing, but I like having options in these types of games, and the game allowing you to play it in any way you want would be pretty great. Like, it's not a huge one, and it could probably just be replaced with some kind of armor transmutation skill, but I just like the idea of playing as a dude without any armor at all, and it being viable. Like, let us be Conan, Bethesda. And number four are creature language skills. Like this is an obscure one, but I think it'd be pretty fun to bring back. In Daggerfall, when you get close to a creature, it's possible to pacify them if you pass a corresponding language check. From looking at the wiki, it seems to be the whole system was kind of impractical, but I like the idea. This skill never showed up again. It's not in Morrowind or Oblivion or anything, but it'd be really cool if it showed up in Elder Scrolls 6. I'm imagining the pet pal talent from Divinity Original Sin here. Nothing too crazy, it just makes this so you can talk to animals. They could give you clues or just add a little flavor to the game. Nothing major. If I wanted to go nuts, it'd be awesome if you could befriend enemies and have them fight for you or even completely change the outcome of some quest because you talk to the monster instead of killing it. But these games are already kind of crazy ambitious, so adding all that on top of everything else is probably asking a bit much. Still, talking to animals is always fun to do in RPGs, so why not bring it back? And number three is Mysticism. This is a weird one because, in a way, the Mysticism skill never really left. Most of the spells that required the Mysticism skill in Morrowind and Oblivion were just moved into other magic skills, like Soul Trap moved into the Conjuration and Telekinesis became an Alteration spell. Most of the spells that were Mysticism are still around in some form, even if the skill itself is gone. I don't want to bring this skill back just because. Honestly, like, five magic skills is probably enough for one game. Probably doesn't need a six, so consolidating magic makes some sense. But I think there's still something to be done with mysticism. Morrowind describes this skill like this. Mysticism involves the manipulation of magic forces and boundaries to bypass the structures and limitations of the physical world. It's apparently the oldest and least understood of the magic schools, so it would be cool to play that up a little bit. Maybe make it wild and chaotic with some random effects or have it tap into primal forces or something. Mysticism could be the place for some of the weirder spells. Of course, they could always just bring it back mostly the same, and that would be fine too. I'm really kind of just spitballing with this one because there are a lot of different directions you could go here and to tell the truth I'd be okay with any of them. And number two is classes. This is less of a skill and more of an archetype. It would be cool to see classes return to Elder Scrolls after taking them out in Skyrim. I don't necessarily want Bethesda to go back to making it so you can only have a limited number of skills. I mean, it's nice in Skyrim that you're not locked out of anything and you can do pretty much anything, but classes are just fun. It's cool to select a character type at the start of the game, and it adds a little variety to the early game when you start off with a different build and different equipment. Yeah, I'm basically just thinking about Dark Souls here where your class determines how you start, but you can build your character however you want after that, it would be cool if they brought back birth signs as well, which give you some unique advantages and disadvantages depending on which one you pick. Maybe so like picking a birth sign is optional if you don't want to, so casual players don't get too overwhelmed with options. Like I get it, Bethesda doesn't want to make character creation too much of a pain for new players, but adding a few more options back into the game for six might be nice for longtime fans.
And finally, at number one is spellmaking. I mean, of course we're putting spellmaking at number one. Where else would that go? Love it or hate it, spellmaking was a huge feature in the old games, and its removal from Skyrim bothered some people. Yeah, it could be ridiculously overpowered, but it was a ton of fun. Now, they have been teasing spellcrafting in the Elder Scrolls Online for years, but so far it hasn't happened, and honestly, I can see why. Trying to balance something like this for an online MMO has to be a nightmare, and most likely it would either be horribly broken or so bad basic that it's not even worth it. But the good thing about a single player game is that it doesn't matter. I mean, not as much anyways. I'd rather it not be the one thing that totally breaks the game wide open, but it would be a lot of fun if you could at least change the elemental effects of spells, maybe of just how they work, like maybe they're fast but dummy fire or slow but homing. Make it so you can customize your spell patterns so that they look like something from a Returnal boss. There's just a bunch of fun possibilities with spell making that would be awesome to see with next gen graphics. Even if Bethesda ends up making a lot weaker than it used to be, just having spellcrafting in any kind of Elder Scrolls 6 would be great. And that's all for today. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is of course a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon, you can follow me on Twitter, at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time, right here on Game Ranks.